Hello and welcome to today's video. Today I would like to talk about Indianapolis 500, the pinball machine. I find this game quite thrilling, although it isn't quite as good. It isn't quite as good in video game format. And I'll tell you why. The real machine, when the race car spins, the whole machine shakes. Driver one moves up on point. He's right on it. He could make a move any time. Basically, you've got to get the balls locked into the turbocharger, and then they all come out ready for a multiball. There is also the possibility of a multi-ball um, if you lock the ball with the small racing car on the left hand side. Yeah! I'm not completely sure what the uh, gameplay is on this game. You do seem to advance up through the rankings though, so you go from last place to first place. I haven't actually ever won a race on the game. So the game in real life was actually in very good condition and everything worked on it. And uh, it was some friends of mine who knew that I liked pinball. They said, oh, we know a calf. So the next day, I was in the calf having breakfast. They will have an extra ball. The safety crews are working on clearing the track. Oops. I do like video mode in, in pinball. This driver could fit any time, Paul. Some people don't like video modes, but I like it. It makes you feel like you're winning and you're getting value for money. Super light up. On any pinball machine, I want to shoot some ramps. I want to get a multi ball. And I want to get an extra ball if I can. And if I get a special, I feel great. Or a replay. not knowing how to advance things I'm just shooting what feels natural for shooting we go now to gasoline alley it's a shame it doesn't have voice calls telling me what to shoot for although I do find that when I'm trying to shoot for things on purpose wow. instead That's of what right, feels Paul. good I miss I lose balls Jackpot's lit. What's the pit lane? Looks like someone kissed the wall on turn two. The driver's out and he is okay. Triple play field story. That's 75 laps for driver one. What a move! Great move! So I never actually ever hear anybody talking about this machine and as I say I've only ever seen it in that one cafe. The cafe actually closed down and then... There we go, there's a replay. Driver one. Driver one has a ball in the turbo, Bobby. Another one means a guaranteed multi-ball. Once the cafe was gone, I've got nowhere to play this machine. Oh, what a move! Whoa, there's the second lock. We are ready 
ready for multi-ball. And here we go. Multi-ball. Either ramp is worth a jackpot. Oh, I lost the ball. Oh well, we at least got a jackpot before we lost the ball. voice calls are a little bit like World Cup Soccer. That was another game that I really enjoyed, but unfortunately I didn't buy it before Pinball Arcade um, lost the licenses. So not something I can actually play. I do know that they've got World Cup Soccer on pinball effects but I just don't like pinball effects and we lost the ball Shoot the ball. Yes. now I don't know if it's because I'm used to it or because the ball actually feels better on uh, the pinball arcade than pinball effects Try and relock that ball. That's one. Not bad, another extra ball. I can't believe it, Paul. That driver took the wrong turn. He's heading out the tunnel and on to the street. This driver could pit any time, Paul. I do like it when they put sound effects and nods to other pinball machines in a pinball machine. Obviously, there, move your car, a reference to Creature from the Black Lagoon. And again. Okay, about a half a mile past the barn, you take a left. Turbo Boost Multi Ball. You see, I lost the ball because I don't shake the table. I know that shaking the table is a big thing for some people. I just feel like, um, I don't know, I've, got, I've never liked shaking the table.
Driver one has a real chance to win this race, Bobby. 50 laps to go for driver one. Let's see if we can win the race. Oops, can't win it like that. And we lost the ball. Well, you've got a good look at that. Have you ever played this machine? What do you think to it? Did you enjoy it when you tried it? Or is it a machine that um, just didn't stack up against all the other good machines? No match. Take care, everybody.